Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to properly clean these used agar jars so they can be reused over and over again. It doesn't matter if they've been contaminated with mold, bacteria, or any other kind of contaminant. The pressure cooker will pretty much take care of that when we sterilize them with a the new batch of agar. So what we're going to do is open up these jars. We're going to remove the previous agar. Oh yeah, and as you can see, this one's uh, pretty contaminated but that won't be a big deal at all. Then we're gonna clean these in the kitchen sink like you would any other dish, and then uh, we'll let them fully dry and we'll prepare a new batch of agar to pour inside of them. Okay, so now everything's cleaned. We've disposed of our used agar. We've washed the jars and the lids in the sink with soap and water. Everything looks great and uh, be ready to be reused. You can pretty much reuse these indefinitely. Um, the lids here, I've drilled an injection port in there and I've uh, put high temp silicone on top and that's so I can test all my liquid cultures using these agar jars. I think testing is very important and should not be overlooked. I have not included an airport lid in these lids because it is not necessary for agar. It does not need to breathe like liquid culture and grain. Also, you want to inspect all your jars to make sure there are no cracks. As you can see, there's a crack in this jar here and we will not be reusing that because there's a good chance it's going to break when we pressure cook it. Okay, enjoy and best of luck.